deep within the extinct volcano that is Autobot headquarters, a strange experiment is taking place. But this experiment is not the brainchild of Autobot scientist Wheeljack, but of their human friend, Spotlug. We are ready for your demonstration, Sparkplug. Right, Optimus Prime. Well, I just wanted to see what I could do with a big pile of spare Autobot parts and a whole lot of human ingenuity. So I built this big guy. Autobot House. Wow, it's like some kind of robot Frankenstein monster. Frankenstein? What, Spike? Ah, oh, it'd take too long to explain, Bumblebee. Now, let's see if my little invention works. Another Autobot? Even if it works, we need it. Hey, look, Dad did it! Autobot X is alive! You see, Wheeljack? <laughs> You're not the only mad scientist around here. Hmm. Maybe I can do something to improve on your model, Spark Club. You'd better do it first, Wheeljack. Look! It's not supposed to do that. Not working. I can't control it. You'll have to stop him. Gotcha, boss. We'll teach that walking jump past the mailers. <laughs> Thanks for the force field, Trailbreaker. Now it's our turn. I'll hit him with these acid pellets until he drops. You might not have to wait that long, proud buddy. Wow, Dad, you kind of created a metal Frankenstein's monster. Prime, I guess all about X better be put in storage. At least until I get it perfected. Ratchet and I'll help. You know, I'd like to find a way to transfer mental impulses to Autobot X. Then, if an Autobot is damaged, his mind could still function in Autobot X while his body was being repaired. Talk about spare parts. Your idea may have merit, Wheeljack. There's only one reason Teletran 1 sounds that alarm. The presence of Decepticons in the vicinity of the new Air Force rocket base. Autobots, transform and roll out! Ironhide, Ratchet, Prowl, Windcharger, Brawn! And we'll be able to see things no one has ever... Huh? What's that? Decepticon! We can't let those evil robots sabotage this launch! It takes much energy to launch these rockets, General! That energy now belongs to us! Now, before any of us such petty annoyances present themselves... Do you consider us petty, Megatron? Autobots, transform! You know what to do! Leave nothing for repairs! Come on, guys, let's set for me to spread. Too bad you don't rule this sight-fishing talk, Ironhide. Complete by surprise. So you decept a creep flight to fly, huh? Well, I'll take off! The rockets! No! You sure we did the right thing in coming here, Bumblebee? No, but we didn't hardly stay behind either. Energy supply, you have better say, destroy. There is nothing left to take! Return to Decepticon headquarters! And to ensure that the other ones will not try to stop us! A diversion! Bumblebee, Spike, Autobots, 
cease fire. I get in there, Spike. I'll get you out of there. Yes, attend to your diminutive friends while we depart. With a little time, Bumblebee, I should be able to cure. But Spike will require immediate medical attention if he is to survive. I'll get him to the hospital fast. I'll provide an escort to get him there faster. If only there were a way of separating Spike's mind from his body while we were. Doctor, maybe there is a way. It's a one in a billion chance, but if it'll save my boy, we gotta take it. Can't you work any faster, Ratchet? I hope your theory works, Neil Jack. It should. With my cybernetic attachments. I'll transfer the mind of your son into the robot form of Autobot X. The human physicians will have time to perform the operation on Spike's real body. Okay, Wheeljack. Do it! Spike, my son! Spike! Do you know me? It should die! Dad! Um, Spike? Spike? Me? Come on! No! No! Spike! Stop! What have we done to you? Why? Why did you do this to me? Why? Why? He's out of control again. Come on. Sunswipe! Sunstreaker! Come on! He must be stopped. But use low power. If the body is destroyed, Spike might be lost forever. <laughs> Spike, are you... Uh, what's... what's happening to me? Forget this, son. But we did the only thing we could do to save you. You'll only be in that robot body till the doctors at the hospital fix up your real one. Yeah, guess you did what you could, but it, it's hard to think. Like something's telling me to do bad things! Must be a side effect of the mind transfer. <sighs> Sorry about the outburst, Dad. Spike, Sparkplug, some of the other Autobots and I are needed back at the rocket base. We've got to help repair the damage done during our battle with the Decepticons. Meanwhile, Spike, every comfort will be provided to you here. <laughs> Thanks, Pop. <laughs> Spike now possesses an Autobot body, and the state of his mind is questionable. Interesting. Perhaps I can turn this situation to my advantage and use this Autobot Spike to destroy the other Autobots. You made such boasts before, Megatron, but the Autobots still exist. Be careful what you say, ambitious one. Or I'll turn Autobot Spike's power against you! <laughs> what supreme irony! Turning their friend into their foe! Wedge it how much longer? Don't blow another gasket, Bumblebee. I'm almost done. Still have to fix your radio transmitter. Enjoying the movie, Spike? Uh, yeah, Wheeljack. Thanks for patching Teletram on into that TV station. I had 
of you, Dr. Frankenstein. Glad to have this whole experiment. This creation of yours made from mismatching parts and an evil brain is a monster who will destroy us all. Nonsense. He will be grateful for the giant powerful body I have given him. You see, Doctor, you created a monster! A monster! No! A monster! That's what you turned me into! A monster! No, but monster! Just like I thought, Spike's mind is... No, don't say it! I'm sorry. I'll have to finish the job later, Bumblebee. No! They not attempt me! Go, what will he do? His present mental state. Who knows? Then maybe somebody better find out. Bumblebee, wait! I still have to repel your radio transmitter! Be that on forever! I have it in my sights and let me take you off until you arrive! What a dread! Trapped inside this walking garbage can! Should I use my new size, my power to help the world like Optimus Prime does? Oh, um, no, why should I? If I'm not right Prime, I'm a monster! Metal Frankenstein monster! With enough power to conquer mankind! Spike, wait! It's me, your pal, Bumblebee! Bumblebee! Listen, there was a side effect to the experiment that's making it hard for you to think right. No, you're trying to trick me! <laughs> What's that? As if I had to ask. You did well, Reflector! And I always... Huh? Good. Long come. More enemies. Yeah, man. I'm getting to like this powerful robot body of mine. He wants a follow! Let's give him one! But if you really want a hassle, Wait! There is no need for further conflict. Megatron. I must say you've improved your appearance since our last encounter, Spike. Easy for you to say, Megacrom. Way I see it, I've become a monster. Like you! Monster? I am no monster! <laughs> We Decepticons are but sentient machines who've discovered our destiny in this vast universe. Will you join us, Decepticons, and be second only to me? Together we will punish those who did this to you! Like, I don't know. It's getting harder and harder to think. Then let Megatron think for you, Autobot Spike. Will you join us? Right, Megatron. We'll make them all pay.
pay for what they did to me. Hey, we are proud. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition. for primitive rocket technology. What's that? You there! Hold! The will! Hold! Optimus, Megatron is telling lies to Spike, and Spike's starting to believe him. I feared something like this would happen. Bumblebee, lead the way! <laughs> I just knew you guys would get here sooner or later. Spike, we've come to help you. Soon your real body will be repaired and we can return your mind to where it belongs. Belongs? Belongs? It belongs here, in this mismatched Frankenstein body you guys gave me. Well, I'm beginning to like it in here. <laughs> Man, I got powers I haven't even discovered yet. Listen to me, Spike. This is not really your doing. It's the unfortunate side effect of the mind transfer. You caught me right, Optimus. It's not just me that's doing this. Flash got back up. Meet my pal, Megatron. <laughs> Let's tight him! Wait, where that then? You said it, Scarscream! No, Prisa! Last him to learn nothing but debris! That's right, Ammo Spike! Keep firing! Listen to me, Spike. You are not acting according to your own mind and will. He's telling you the truth, Spike. The experiment did something to your loin. Oh, heck, it's so hard to think. Don't let them confuse you, Spike. Destroy them! What are you doing? Spike! Shouldn't you fight back, Optimus? No. If I destroy his mental body, I also destroy his mind. Why are you attacking your friends? Spike! Dad? Dad! As I said, I've got powers I haven't even discovered yet. What are you waiting for, Autobot Spike? Use my power to destroy them! Yes, yes. Now's my chance to destroy them. <laughs> You saved my life, son. Thanks. Dad, it was me who put you in danger in the first place. Can you ever forgive me? Spike, there's nothing to forgive. We've given him the best possible treatment, Mr. Whitwicky. The rest is up to you and the Autobots. Guess this is the last time I'll get to see myself from the outside. Uh, hope you fixed this gadget good, Ratchet. Okay, Wheeljack, zap me back home.
it's overloaded. It can't take much more. Oh, wow. I'm... I'm back. Back where I belong. You know, Wheeljack, I could probably repair that mess. But I think it best that I don't. Then I wonder... I wonder what it'd be like for a robot mind to be transferred to a human. 